previously on Red Dead Redemption 2. Hello, sir. You a new Watch, Watch yourself. yourself. Wait a minute. Sweet he just robbed me. Bitch. What the hell? Hey. Oh. Give, me the money. Give me my money. No respect in this town for delirious. Look at those alligators. He's got a little top hat. I want one of those. Can I buy that, sir? Mr. Morgan, we have a problem. Oh, no. A real problem. It's Tilly. I don't know what they've been doing here, but I can tell you what they're going to be doing here. I remember this house. I've actually looted this house before. Oh. Oh. What the hell you think you're doing? What the hell you think you're doing? What the hell's Tilly? Guess he can't tell me now. Tilly, what the hell are you doing? It was Anthony Foreman. He thinks he owns me. Oh, Grab that they're gun. here. Anyone approaches, shoot them. <laughs> Use the lasso. Don't kill me. Try it. Come back here. You, you get the hell up. You're gonna explain yourself to Tilly. We was family, Tilly Jackson. You Foreman boys ain't no kind of family I want. Kill him, Arthur. You feel lucky, alone. punk? History is done. It was a tough choice. Oh, God. Sorry, partner. Where the hell's Jack? He shows the buffoni. How do you know I was a clown? You perform a simple job for me, and you get your son back. I want to get the hell out of this damn uh, graveyard before the damn zombies come out. Hey, push. Oh, you made a big mistake. No, die. I'm choosing to die in the cemetery. I lost my damn hat again. Are you serious? Vampire, sir. It wasn't me. I made it, John. Come on. No, we have returned from killing some grave robbers. Well, Jack, you, we did it. Uh, we saved them. Miss Bronte has invited us to a garden party at the mayor's house. Garden party? <laughs> have you ever had spaghetti? What? What's Get that? It. What the hell is spaghetti? Hey, it's gotta be hard on work. John because the John thinks he's a terrible Jack father, which he back. is. Jack is back. Hey, Camp is happy. Everybody's, it's, it's time to have a party. Spec the letter. Letter my dear in my room. Oh. I hope this letter finds you well. I wanted to thank you for your help with Jamie. He and Daddy are still arguing, but I understand that Jamie is thinking about going back to college. Whatever happens, I believe you saved his life, and we are all truly grateful. Oh, Arthur, I have made such a mess of my life time and again. Why can I not change and be the woman I want to be? Why couldn't you change and be a man and put down all those fantasies that shroud your judgment? Life is very confusing, and I see now that I am not very good at it. I'm afraid we've got ourselves into another mess. It's not my fault, but I need your help. I'm staying at the Hotel Grand in San Denis. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, Arthur. I know it is wrong to ask you, but I have nobody else. And for what we once had together, I beg of you, even though I am ashamed to do so, yours. Mary. Hey, he's back, guys. Hey, he's back. We gotta go to we gotta go to the Saint and, and see what bait she needs. This guys, she needs she needs love in her life. And I will be the one that gives her love. But now, seriously, something's wrong, and she wants our help, and we gotta figure out what's wrong with her. By the way, guys, I I do not. I do not want to change horse delirious. I know there's faster horses out there. I know I've been selling some some good horses. I don't care. And does that trigger you? Does that trigger you? Because I don't care. What do you think about that? What do you think about me not caring? Hmm? Tell me. Tell me. I don't care. I don't care. I can't, I can't give up on horse lyrics. He's the best horse in the world. What the hell is this? Why is there a bet? Oh, Javier. Javier's worth $1,000? The hell? Look at that beautiful picture. Look at that. Look at that. He's worth a thousand dollars. I might, I might turn this son of a bitch in. Oh, that's pretty cool. I didn't, I didn't know about that. Okay, so yes, we must. Um, it's a beautiful day. This is the day after party, and we had a, we had a wonderful party yesterday because we got your help with Miss Jackson. <sighs> Don't mention it, Miss Grimshaw. You're a fine man, Mr. Morgan. Sometimes, at least. And you're a fine lady. Thank you. I think. Yes. Yes, I think. Oh, damn, what is she doing with a damn rifle? What the hell are you doing with a rifle? Make sure you stay awake there, Karen. 
I think I might have had too much fun last night. She's like half drunk still, carrying around a rifle. Hosea! Hosea, you need me. Yeah, okay. Hosea. Arthur? Hey, Arthur. Come on! If we're gonna make it to this party, we yeah. sure as shit better clean up a little. So we're doing this? Oh, yeah. Old friend Dutch Van der Linde's finally showing his true colors. Social climbing. <laughs> Old Senor Bronte, that horrendous snake, has invited us to the ball, Cinderella. So my suggestion is we go and get you a gown. <laughs> you son of a bitch. Are we about to get a tux? <laughs> oh! <laughs> we already have it. <laughs> Utterly. I ain't never been to a ball in my life. Nor have I, if I am being honest. I used to quite often. Should've got a sheep. Oh, no, 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 no pickpocketing. We are here to make real contact. What kind of contact? Well, I don't know. We'll find what we can. All I know for sure is we are going to a party at the mayor's house, and the guest of honor is the worst crook in town. <laughs> I am sure that we will find something. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> We're here, we're at, the, we're at the fancy mansion. Gentlemen, Luca, I'm afraid the mayor does not allow guns at official functions after last year's incident. Oh, this is gonna hurt. I don't wanna give my guns up, with the head? Luca here will take you to Mr. Bronte. I believe he is expecting you. Follow me, gentlemen. Most fanciest party we have ever been into. This way, please, gentlemen. Senior Bronte will be so pleased that you made it. Thank you, thank we you, thank you. To be. Ah, that's wonderful, wonderful. Ah, come, come, this way. Ah, what a beautiful evening it shall be. Mr. Bronte is a very good friend with the mayor. Good evening, Pierre. Senor Napoli. Uh, wow, the they got maids on maids. Mr. Bronte, oh, there's he has a, the thing, you know. Beautiful uh, paintings. Jose, Bill, you join the party. We'll meet you out back after we pay our respects to Senor Bronte. Come, come. Yeah, where's Bronte? Uh, we'll meet you in the back. Uh, follow the escort. Oh, we gotta go this way. We gotta go talk to Bronte. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Before we, before we, I can't do it. I was gonna look at my satchel and put on some uh, beard growing medicine. I don't want my beard to grow in this party. What is that? Yeah, just by being in here, I feel like I feel I feel rich, rich, like, like billion dollar rich. <laughs> ah, the angry cowboys! You've arrived, and you've washed for the prima volta questo mese senza dubbio. This is quite a party you've invited us to. Yes, quite something. Although I'm not quite sure what. <laughs> so, this is Sandini High Society. Yes, apparently so. And all these people. It, these are friends of yours, Senor Bronte. <laughs> no, 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 not quite, not quite. But they certainly are afraid of me. They're afraid of me. Like that one. See that wretch? He's the mayor. <laughs> Henri Lemieux. <laughs> He'll do anything Henry? for a dollar, and I mean oh, anything. And that's a Politics big cigar. What the hell? Foul business. Yes. Oh, and that one too. That is Alberto Fuzar. He owns a sugar plantation out on the island, and it's he like a general. comes here to whore and despoil himself. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, and that, that is Hobart Crowley, a, a Confederate major in the war. I mean, hero, they say, but that, this is his very young wife. I mean, a young mistress, that's the natural order of things, yes, but a young wife is unseemly. Oh, oh, the Redskins. What? <laughs> I have no sympathy for them, because whoever is stupid enough to get tricked by the Americans, no, wow. they get what they this deserve. Asshole. Huh? <laughs> yes, and a letter to the mayor. Oh, yeah, that'll save you. <laughs> and that... That is Hector Fellows, mm. this self-righteous newspaper man. Maybe, maybe you will kill him for me one day. <laughs> well, we're not what? paid killers as such, not in cold blood. Yeah, we're not hit, man. I did not know you were so particular that uh, you wouldn't help a friend. Oh, I'm willing to help in any way I can, uh, within reason. <laughs> I'm going to pretend to understand what that means. I meant no offense, sir. I'm not taken. None taken. <laughs> Don't back down to this a oh, asshole. These vulgar people. Look at me. I'm like, yeah, I'll kill him. 
Non vedo l'ora di guardarti morire. <laughs> well, uh, it has been wonderful conversing with you, but I can tell that you are very busy and I won't waste any more of your time. Yes, yes, yes. Go, enjoy yourselves and mingle with this vulgar scum. It'll make you long for the days when you could shoot each other and screw cows out on the open range. <laughs> Those sure were the days. Good day. <laughs> so those days mm, aren't day are over. You. But before you go, what uh, exactly are your plans here? Well, we've not made any. Well, we, we are going to need some money. money. All of the money. Yes, of course. Well, there's, there's money at the trolley station. They keep a lot of cash there in the day. Now, I could not involve myself in such uh, matters. But you, pff, as a guest, yes. As my guest, bah, do it, huh? <laughs> okay, good day, gentlemen. Goodbye. <laughs> okay, ragazzi, adesso il vino buono. Si. One guy had a monocle in his eye. I want a monocle. Hey, <laughs> here. I'll show you to the party, gentlemen. If thank you, thank you, you kindly. Me. Oh, what's in there? Sir? That was suspicious. That was very suspicious. Go in there. Can't lock it. Oh. Gentlemen, enjoy your evening and welcome once again to Saint Denis. Ciao, ciao. Thank you for uh, letting us in your fancy home. Gentlemen, let's go ingratiate ourselves. God, now this is a party. This is a hell of a party, guys. What do you want, okay. Dutch? Go find the mayor if you can and stay out of trouble and steal nothing. Unless it's information. Of course. Jose, you go find us okay. some place to rob. Bill, go make us some new friends. I'm gonna find out if old Cornwall and what's his name, Milton, knows we're here. Gentlemen, be you well. go with the guests in the courtyard. Okay. Oh, I can oh ladies! I can I can do some mingling. Definitely do some mingling. Good evening. Ladies, do you wanna go back in the back and mingle? Do Ooh, offer champagne. I'm such a philistine is all that, Marie? No, I don't quite that much of a philistine. Sir, get the hell out of the way. I'm trying to get some champagne for the ladies. <laughs> Would you like some champagne? Of course. Thank you, sir. You are quite the gentleman. Yes, I am. Clearly not from this swampy hell. Thank home. you. Thank you. Ladies, I'll see you next week. <laughs> All right, well, we'll get the hoochies drunk for later. Mission accomplished. How was the show? I heard you went. outrageous. These dancers. Well, if that's French culture for you, sign me up for French lessons. Oh, would you like tickets? Yes, I would love tickets. This cabaret show at the Theater Ralua. It's jolly fun. I did no such thing. Oh, well, I, I would love tickets, except. I suggested that all of us as a Sure. Take care of people living in this land. And then Thank you. Ooh. Very much. Got theater My tickets free. Pleasure. Good evening. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. We have problems. Here we are. The mayor. I beg to differ, sir. It is not a rural problem, but a human problem. Human problem? It ain't complex, and you. And only an idiot like you, buddy, would try to make it so. I will not deny idiocy, sir, but perhaps now is not the time. <laughs> Typical pansy. You are drunk, Ferdinand. <laughs> I'm not drunk, you fool. But this man, this man loves darkies. Hey, <laughs> you are pretty drunk. Yeah. Hey, say you oh, and me oh, cool oh. Off. You're coming with me, sir. Sir, you're drunk. You get the hell out of this damn party. You get out of this party. You damn racist. Come on, sleep. You get the hell off. out. We don't, we don't take kindly to your, your kind around here. Right. Leave and never come back. Sit down and calm down. That's right. Anybody want to Anybody else wants to mess you with me? Rejoin the party. Man, the mayor's really gonna like us for that. Save the day. Save the damn Bonjour, day. Bonjour, monsieur. Bonjour, miss ma'am. Evening, folks. Evening. I got that scum out of the party, sir. Thank you, sir. 
My pleasure. Henri Lemieux. I hope you're enjoying my party. The mayor. Allegedly. That's quite a place you got here. <laughs> it's not mine, and the city is horribly in debt, but we can still put on a good show. Do you know Evelyn Miller? My lord. A writer? Well, we seem to have another deranged drunkard on our hands. Shall we? Ooh, fireworks? Oh, oh, oh. Wow! My lord, they're fantastic. You gotta imagine, this is some stuff they didn't see much back then. Mr. Cornwall was quite insistent. Cornwall. Uh, he shouted down the telephone for several minutes. Mr. Cornwall is a horse's ass and a bad <laughs> horse. I'm very sorry, sir. Uh, it's not your fault. I'm a fool for trusting him. I'll come and sign it in a minute. Let me enjoy the fireworks. Of course. Did he say something about Cornwall? Yes, they did. Yes. Find out what. Sure. So how does Cornwall fit into this? Oh. That damn scumbag. We're following this man in the white. Yes, it's absolutely gorgeous. Too bad I can't watch the damn show. Hello. 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 So everyone will notice if you get too close. Oh. Yes, it's very beautiful. So are you, ma'am. So are you. We gotta be sneaky. Extra sneaky. He turns around, done for. No Drop. problems? Everything's fine. We have the place well secured. Good. Mr. Bronte has a habit of wandering about and reading whatever he likes. <laughs> We're watching him and his men like hawks. Thank you, Mr. Terp. Terp, you're not watching them good enough because I'm, I'm just like, just like walking through here. You're, you're a terrible guardsman, terrible. Absolutely terrible. Hey. What the hell? Oh. Is everything taken care of? The telephone, it keeps ringing. The mayor said he will sign later. Damn, they got a telephone in this damn house? These guys really are rich. Uh, Marie! 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 Find that little reprobate Jeep and beat him. I will not have standard slip in this house. Wow! Oh my god, I thought we were going to be caught. Have you lost your mind? I said, have you lost your mind? Come here. Come here. Look at me. Look at me. Oh, uh, no. Who do you think what? you are? This area is not meant for the likes of you. You know this. The standards in this house are slipping. This is a final warning to you, miss. A final warning. This guy Get is... Get out of my sight. He's an a-hole. Straight up a-hole. Straight up a-hole. I'm gonna beat the hell out of him when I get a chance. Smacking that maid like that. Who, the, who does he think he is? He thinks he runs this house? He thinks he's the owner of this damn house? Man, he, he must have a stick stuck so far up his booty hole it's coming out of his mouth. Look at that snob. Damn snob. What do I do? You coming? Treat the leather from the desk. Ooh. Oh. Sneaky Lirius. <laughs> Spec ledger. Don't make any sound. No, what the hell? It was a, did you see the book? What the hell? Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Top secret. Extremely confidential. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. Too bad you lost it, sir. <laughs> Is there anything else I can, uh... Hold on, hold on, hold on, before he comes back. Can I rob this thing? What is this? That thing looks like something I can rob. We're gonna get caught the longer I sit in here. Oh, we got a letter. We just found a letter. We just found a letter. We just found a letter. Wonder what it says. Um, 
Angelo, yet again, the city is in debt, and I am flabbergasted by your generosity, the magnificent yada yada yada. We are now well on our way to the funds necessary to found both uh, yada yada yada. I gotta get the hell out of here. I gotta, that was a letter to Bronte about something. I have no idea, but we gotta go before we get before we get synced. I don't want to get synced in this damn house. Even though I'm a guest, I'm just looking for the for the pleasantries. I'm looking for the bathrooms. Ah. Oh, look. Fetch. Oh, there's Fetch. <laughs> Find anything? I think so. Nothing. This town is a waste of time. Maybe not. Arthur? Gentlemen, I think we're done here. Already? We can't stay for a night, my cat? There's plenty of money moves through here, of course, and I, I think I found out how we can grab some of it. A big bank. Real one, I mean. But not Ooh, yet. another bank robbery. Maybe. And a stuffed one. If we're gonna leave, that could be the one thing we need. There's also that trolley car station Senor Bronte told us about, and I heard about a high stakes poker game. Come on. A high stakes poker game? That would be awesome to do in this game. Like a poker game worth a lot of money. Yes, give me give her our guns back. Here comes Ahead. money. All right. Let's get in. <coughs> Go home. Well, that was a I fine never party. Felt so awkward in all my life. All them folk are so pleased with themselves. Oh, high society's pigeon shit. If you ask me, it's more like torture. Well, that's sort of the point, isn't it? Let the people torture themselves. Here's them papers I took. Uh, anybody see you take this? I don't think so. Hmm. I might have an idea. Let me think on it. An idea, huh? Dutch is the man with the plan. He's the mastermind of the whole game. He knows what to do, what not to do. He knows to send me in to kill me. He, he even told me to go to sleep right here. <laughs> Interesting times. <laughs> I guess. Yeah, where the hell are so we? So what's next? Dancing lessons? Deportment? More along the lines of armed robbery. Jose is handling reconnaissance on the bank. He and Abigail are gonna run some distractions. See how the law react. Good. Oh, and I spoke to Evelyn Miller. Fine man. Here helping the Indian chief we saw. Yeah, I met him too, with the mayor. He's lobbying officials in San Denis on their behalf. Maybe we could help. Maybe. Now, I think there's a lot of money on the riverboat. A lot of money. And Trelawney, he's investigating for us. He says to meet him at the tailors. Okay. One big score down here, Arthur, and we disappear. We are almost heading home. Where is home? I don't know. Exactly. But I can smell it. I'm gonna go investigate this trolley thing old Bronte was talking about. We've okay. already moved to three different locations. <sighs> this is a nice home right here. Can't we just be nice, gentle people and, and just live here forever? Oh, what? Oh, yeah. There's my father. <laughs> my father. Okay, so. Uh, before we get any further, I need to look at my satchel. Because what I want to do is I want to go raw hair. We got hair tonic. Increases the rate at which hair and facial grows. Let's go ahead and use this. There we go. Straight up drink it stuff. I can just feel the beer growing. So, apparently, I didn't know this because I didn't and I didn't ever notice. The hair doesn't grow anymore unless you drink that stuff and make it grow. I don't know if I'm supposed to drink like multiple. Or does it does it grow over time? I have no idea. I'll, I'll, I'll drink another one later. Did it... Arthur, Arthur, you can't you just be jumping off of them houses like that, Arthur. You break your damn ankles. You, you, you're not like in your youthful days anymore. Who the hell's dog is this? Kane dog? Oh, his name is Kane. He's a Catahoula. Hello, doggy. What are you doing? Are you our pet? Yeah, you're a good boy. Yeah, this is a good doggy. Yes. That's right. Keep, keep digging in the dirt. See that? That is how you get a good point. Come on. My turn now. Jack Please. and John. Oh, no. We don't need you getting in no more trouble. <laughs> you all right, Jack? 
I'm just fine. Why? No reason. No reason, huh? John? John how's everything, John? Got some guts, that boy. Yes, boy he does. Said he took after his mother. <laughs> you really gonna push me out the way like that, John? What the hell? I thought we were best friends. Arston. Hi. That Okay. Well, let's look at our maps. Let's figure out where our next missions is. What is this? Like, why is this blinking on and off? Donate to... Ca oh, yes, uh, because I owe... Here, we'll do that right now. I have some money that I got to put into the into the box. So where exactly is the donation box at? It appears to be in the house. I could... Oh, I could donate to here. I could take candy, too, if I want. Hello, ma'am. Man, look at woman you are. And how are Ooh. you? Up. What the uncle? I'm surviving. Good Get up. for you. Uncle, what the hell are you doing? I'm sleeping, Arthur. Oh, sorry. sorry. I, I apologize. It's too tempting. You're interrupting <laughs> my beauty rest. Listen, you need all the beauty rest in the world. It's not going to help you, man. It's not going to help you. Get my damn way, Karen. Why is the box upstairs of all places? Why do... Little Miss Romance, I was right. Yeah, they about talking about Sandini. How so? Oh. Sandini. Oh, I've been saying it wrong this whole time. <laughs> yeah, I'm saying everything right. wrong this whole time. Shut up. Uh, give all dips. There we go. That's what I was wanting to do. She's talking about the vampire. There we go. Wait, is there anything I can upgrade here? I haven't checked yet. Yeah, let's look at the ledger. See if there's anything that is upgradable at the new house. Oh, there we go. I, 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 gave, I gave my monies. And we can put, um, we need more medicine and ammo. So, yes, let's restock the medicine. There we go, purchase that. And the provisions, purchase that. Can't, can't put any more provisions in there? Well, yes. Let's purchase the ammo. It doesn't look like there's anything else. Yeah. We, we've gotten everything. Okay. That's one thing I wish they would have added to this game. Is with each camp you upgrade, there should be more that you can add to it. Because once you buy everything, it seems like that's it. Jack, what the hell are you doing? You can't be wandering around the house, man. The hell, you little youngster. Damn. Save his life and he gets in trouble again. Okay, so. Look at the map, finally. I need to go back to St. Dennis. We, need, we got a stranger in town that we got to talk to. And then we got to go talk to Trelawney. So we haven't seen him in a, in a good bit. And then I, I, I think that's everything else. If I'm ever up in this area up here, I'll get the legendary Arabian white horse. But I haven't really been up there at all yet. And I, I do know there's some other, like, cool things in, in this area right here that I could look at. But if I ever come across this stuff, that's when I look at it. I'm not going to do it right right this second. But I got to get to Dennis. We got we to gotta do some tings, guys. We got to do some tings. Oh, that's some fancy fast travel right there. Good morning to you, sir. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Okay, so we need to, I, I think I want to talk to the stranger. Oh, we got another stranger up here. Hmm, hmm, hmm. We're going to talk to the first stranger, which is this one. Then, and then we'll go and visit that stranger. And then we also got Mary. Oh, we got to go talk to Mary. That's right. Mary needs our help. From the letter. Oh, oh, oh yes. We're, we're going to see. We're going to go see Bay. Oh, yeah. Come on. Where's Larry? Yeah. Yeah. yeah we definitely got to go see Bay because, you know, she needs our help. She needs our assistance. I love this city. I love the way they created this city. It's so good. Full of life, love, and hopefully we don't murder anybody. Of course, Larry. So we got to we got to be better with how we uh, travel through the city because one wrong move and the whole the whole city's gonna want us. Good morning. Good morning. What the hell? Good morning, fellers. Morning. Get, the hell out of, get out of my way, sir. Arthur. Arthur. Hello. Up here. Mary. You came. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, what do you need? Wait there. 
I'm coming straight down. What the hell are you fellers looking at? That's my woman. We gotta brush our teeth, guys. Arthur. Hello, Mary. You came. Sure. Whenever you call for me, I'll come. Uh, oh, Arthur. What's wrong? Daddy. Your father? Oh, I'm my. A bigger fool than I even Wow. <laughs> I'm begging you, Arthur. I know Daddy was not kind to you, but. But surely you cannot hate a man for the sin of loving his daughter and wanting better for her than... than... Than me? Than the choices you what make. What choice did I have? Did I ever have? Oh, I know. You had to live by your code. But your code is... Well, it's not right. Has your way been right, Mary? With you? And Jamie joining a bunch of crazies? An hypocritical daddy with his drinking and whoring and gambling? Huh? Is that what a pure life has gotten you? Every time we get together, we have a fight. Oh, Arthur. Every time. Be kind to me. Sorry, Mary. Please. Sorry. Why the phone ringing? I should have asked someone else, but. But I'm the best guy you know at frightening decent people. It wasn't that I didn't love you, Arthur. You know that. Mm. Oh, Arthur. We were so very young. Think how different life could have been. Yeah, I think about it. Think about but you I, all the time. I, it all seems so long ago and far away now. Will you help me try to save Daddy? We had to help her. Yes. Yes, I'll help you. Please. Come along, Dan. Let's go save Daddy. Where are we going? What's the old lovable patriarch been up to now? Oh, Arthur. You know sarcasm is beneath you. He's been gambling and drinking and other things. Oh, the filthy rotter. Where can we find him? He said he was going down to the Theodore Eckhart stables. Something about a horse. It's down by the water in the warehouse district near the train yard. Come on, then. Don't be a pompous ass, Arthur. It doesn't suit you. Oh, should I leave that to Daddy? Leave Daddy alone. He suffers enough. Well, I suppose I can take some consolation in that. Oh, Arthur. I should have ran away with you years ago. Yes, you should have. Well, you wouldn't. No, I didn't. But, well... Run away with me right now. I don't know. Come on, Mary. You know you love me. And I still have feelings for you or I wouldn't be helping you. Especially helping your father. So what do you think he's up to? I'm not sure. He keeps saying it's a disgrace. A man of his standing has to ride around on some old nag. Standing? He's usually falling down. Arthur. He wasn't always this way, but it has got worse. He's, He's gonna have a hell of a time when he sees me. <laughs> more than ever, pawning things off left and right, mixing with bad people. I'm just scared for him. Don't worry too much. Whatever it is, we'll work it out. Whatever it is, huh? Right, we're gonna do some cinematic camera yeah, angles and let, and let Horse Lyrics run by himself. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. And we we got we got we still got feelings for Mary. We do. And oh, we're here already. This is the place. That was quick. <laughs> this is not gonna be good at all. Let me go in and see what kind of a state he's in. Sure. I'll wait here. Good luck. Scream if you need any help. Very funny. He can be, he can be, he can be old man now, An old grumpy man. You can't stand there. What? I can what, stand. The street? Yes, stand wherever the street. I want. Is it your street? Just get out of here. Really? Why? I said, just get out of here. 
Yeah, smack the shit out of that son of a bitch. Listen, partner. I'm waiting on the lady. She's a fine lady. Fine lady. She's just gone inside. If I wasn't waiting on this lady, you'd be dead already. <laughs> but if you continue to irritate me, then you're gonna be dead I'll now. I'll kill you. I make my apologies to the lady. It's your call. Oh, I didn't mean nothing. You need to quit being rude to people. Oh, my wait right there. I have half a mind to kill oh. you myself. Daddy. Oh, no. Oh, Daddy, please, come home. You're tired, Daddy, tired and I have unwell. no such thing. You get away from me. You head home. He's a mean I drunk. I upon it. Leave me be. Damn nuisance. Excuse me, partner. Still as charming as ever, I see. Oh, Arthur, he's up to no good. Better follow him. <laughs> okay. I'm getting my root for this one. <laughs> Why don't you put that away? I won't have you hog this way, poor man. I will hog tag. How how the hell are you talking twice, anyways? Okay, so we have to follow him without getting spotted. All right. He went around the corner. I know where he went, Uchi. He's drunk. Don't you think he doesn't know where the hell he's going? Oh, oh, oh now he's gonna Arthur, throw up. Drop back a bit or he'll see you. <sighs> Nasty! He's just throwing out any steps in it! Just follow the smell. Arthur, any closer and he'll spot us. He He's just drunk. between those crates. I know. Mary, 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 I shouldn't have took this. I shouldn't have took this job, Mary. Should not. Should not have done it. Should not. Come here, huh. quick. Oh. Mind oh. where you go. Ooh. Mind where you go. Sorry. Listen, Mary, we could yeah. go back to my place. I think he saw us. I don't think so. What did you say to me? I didn't say a thing insulting. Oh, no. I'll wipe that goddamn smirk clean off your face. <laughs> Ain't you a little old for brawling, mister? Damn you! He's just mad at the world. Look at him. He's heading across the road. I know. No. This is kind of fun. It is. He'll hear you. You could have cleaned yourself up a bit. I didn't realize you, I was here to impress anyone. Now you're telling me I should have took a bath. You wanna go help me take a bath? Listen, I got a I got an arm that needs cleaning, lady. He just went left down that alleyway. Yeah, I got it. What's I know he where. Doing? I know where he Let's went. Go find out. Oh no. Oh no. What, what's Say he doing? I'll never show you a good time. I'm just glad you're here. Listen, this reminds me back of back in our youthful days, Mary. Back when I used to sneak in your window, in your in your in your, in your one room house. Oh, those are the days. Those are the days. Uh oh. What is he doing? What's Playing pat a cake with himself. What do you think he's doing? Well, he's either waiting for a woman of dubious morals, or he's trying to sell something. So, Ashton, you got the money? Ashton. So selling something. Have you got the brooch, Mr. Gillis? Yes. Here. It's all the brooch. Here's the money. <laughs> really? Mm, that is beautiful. It's a family heirloom. Oh, that no. Family for brooch. Not any longer, Mr. Gillis. Enjoy the money. And should you need any more, I can offer you a loan at a very reasonable rate of interest. No, thank you. I've heard what happens to folks who take loans from you. It's not I've his to sell. No, it's I just a brooch. At least he didn't get himself you killed. You don't understand. Mother left it to me. You <laughs> sold my mother's brooch? How could you? You! That's theft! Hello, oh, Father. Speaking of thieves, I, I see you found your outlaw again. Hello, sir. Have you been well? Daddy, how could you? Mary, wait here. I'll go get the brooch. Don't hurt anyone, Arthur. Listen, I won't hurt him. I promise. He'll probably kill someone. <laughs> yes, I'll kill them all. Hey, you, Ashton, hold it right there. Why's he running? What the hell's he running for? God damn it. 
the hell out of the way? Yeah. Where's Liz? I need your help. Hey, stop that, coach. Where's Liz? I need your help, please. I swear it. Where's Liz? I know, I know a good glue farm. If you don't hurry, the hell out. What the hell are you doing, Jim? You ain't gonna just sit here and not move. What the hell are you doing, Horse Liz? You hear me? Stop the damn coach! Stop the coach! Get back here! Stop that coach right God now! Damn it. Stop that coach! You know what? We gotta, we gotta, we gotta scare him. We gotta scare him. We gotta. You stop right now! We gotta yeah, shoot him in the air. Shoot him in the air. Oh, he's not gonna stop. He's not gonna stop. This is a fast coach. It's a really fast, uh, sir. Now I need you to stop right now. I don't wanna. To to wake. Where's the hell? What are you in? Uh, Get the hell off this damn coach right now. Who the hell you think you is? Wow. Oh, got got. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> You're making a big mistake. Yeah. Yes, yeah, I did make a big mistake. Come on, horse, Let's get the hell out of here. Oh, that's the first time I did one of those. That was awesome. This is insane. It's 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 delirious. Deliriously insane. That's right. That's right. We're gonna take you to a secluded place. Let Woo! me out of here. Woo! Oh, that was a good whip. A little whip around. Little little turn around right there. Oh, this place is nice and secluded right here. Now listen. You don't run from me when I say stop. You got my woman's brooch. Get out of there. The hell out of this damn coach. Leave Think about you, what Leave you have done. Alone. It's just a brooch. It's just a brooch. I want that brooch. It's, it's it wasn't just a brooch, Gillis's huh? to sell. Give me my the damn brooch. Square. How much give me you want for it? The brooch. I guess I could give it to you for a hundred dollars. No. How about no? How about no? I'll just fucking knock you the hell out! A hundred? What do you take me for? Okay, okay. Give me it. How about for free? I'm a reasonable man. Let's say 50. 50? 50? How about free? I like free, I'm good sir. Good enough, Ashton. Okay, Jesus. $25, that's my final right. offer. That's fine. That's fine. We're going to pay him. I'm not going to hit him anymore because I don't want to kill him. I'm paying $25 for the brooch. Here. Here you go, sir. Yeah, take the damn thing. Thanks for doing business. Crazy yep. son of a bitch. You don't know who you're messing with. Oh yeah? You don't you don't you don't, you don't pay for this. You don't know nothing. You don't know. Right, you better run away. Moo! Moo Moo is the most villainous hey, villain boy. I've ever seen in my life. There's a reward out yep. for Moo. I must I must catch her my bounties. I must catch her my bounties. Good. We're going back to Mary. Got a brooch. Um, we just straight up robbed that guy. If you really think about it, because he, the father, got money for the brooch, and then, well, he got twenty-five dollars. So whatever that the father took, however much that was, is robbing points. I didn't rob him. It wasn't me. There we got it. Uh, I didn't hurt anybody. I don't know. You want me to go find him again? Not really. Well, let's take a walk. On the wild take side. You Thank you. Yeah, got you your brooch back. I won't ask. Don't. Probably best not. Hey. Yes? What are you doing now? Right this moment. Looking well, at yes. you, pretty face. <laughs> well, I was wondering if you wanted to do something. <gasps> Head to the theater, perhaps. Well, I do have tickets. Yes, I accept. She wants it to go out on a date. Theater? Me? Sure, why not? 
It'll be fun, Arthur. Let's go to the Relure. They have the strangest acts. <laughs> strangest I can handle. Well, it's the normal business of life. I can't seem to get a grip on it. <laughs> you and me both, Arthur. Wow, How guys. I you. Don't start. <laughs> You're an idiot. But you'll always be my friend. Well, of course I'm your friend. But don't but friends on me. What the hell? You ain't always fair with me. If I was fair with you and a good person, I'd have had you hanged a long time ago. Well, damn. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> so, shut up and act like a gentleman, or at least try to for once in your brainless life. You're not a very nice woman, Mrs. <laughs> Lamb. Well, look at the company I keep. I know, it's quite dreadful, isn't it? Hope they show different <laughs> shows, because this we've already been to this theater. It's sort of beautiful. Just in like a you. Gaudy and tasteless way. It's the only way like I know. You. <laughs> Thank you. Well, no, I didn't mean it like that. I... I'm sure. <clears throat> you silly man. Come on. Let's go find our seats. Yes, let's go find our seats. Now, we're hitting it off good with, with the old bay. How about here on the right? Sure. After you. Can we get some popcorn? I love popcorn. Come on, please be a different show. Please. <clears throat> Matt Mary. Matt Mary, can, can I get a handy? Welcome. Whoa. <laughs> oh, not this scumbag again. Applause. I am Aldridge T. Abingdon, the greatest <laughs> assembler of entertainment since the greatest. Neil himself. Do not doubt. As a child, when I walked the horse manure covered streets of Sunday, look at us, guys. I never dreamed of the stir. True love. I create so, in this locality. Just starting or not? Are you in a rush? No, we're not. Emerson. I'm not in a rush. I'm, I'm not in a rush at all. For the grandest excitement of your curiosity, fire, snakes, and magic. <gasps> snakes. I encourage any of you magic. to dabble in all three. If you have a settled aversion to manual labor as I do, How about for that? entertainment is a gift that will see you through the winter better than any packed larder or root cellar full of canned goods. This guy sure now, can talk, Mary. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome a truly stunning musical performance to the stage, Miss Robin Koninsky. Yeah! Hoo, 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 hoo. Oh, she's so happy. Look at her. She's so happy. Yeah, yeah. We got a damn band. Robin, woo. Yeah, let me clap, too. Is this the same? Is this the same? Thank you for joining us. The now same one I walked out on the last time. This place we all love called San Denis. Denis. Okay. I have been saying it wrong this whole time. Uh... Yeah, woo! Like it. They come from Road Stop, Perry and Valentine. Singing a song and drinking wine. Across by your swamp and oh, over the sea. Good. We're I heading down to San Denis. I know something else that'd be fun. <laughs> Don't worry yourself with planting a crop. The girls are wearing a brand new gown. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I think I could do this. There we go. You see her ass up. Go drinking down in San Denis. Me and my baby to be. I love her. I want to see the titties. I don't know what I'm talking about. I need to shut the hell up. There's dancing and singing and yeah. the moon and the streets and alleys of I'm each Sunday. Oh, God. No, no, I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. Pretend 
to be French, but can't you see? I'd rather live in San Dani. Yes, I'd rather live in San Dani. Yes, well done indeed. Well done indeed. Bring on the magic act. I want to see some magic. Oh, she's melting my heart. Oh, I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, babe. Sorry. Listen, I can't. Look, I'm. I'm I can't help myself. Ooh. Ooh. Flawless. Make a move. Perfect. Oh, oh yes. I see. You, you love her dulcet tones, right? Yes. Easy, Arthur. E pure uh, spectacle, uh, and I assure you, she can charm any beast, any oh, beast at all. Arthur, what the hell, man? To killer whale. <laughs> Your mother most likely told you not to play with fire. Oh, so the fire lady's next. Or to spend time in the company of strange women. <laughs> you are about right. to do both, <laughs> Miss Antoinette Sansovino. Yeah. I want to make another move. Ooh. Ooh. Stop it. Do you love it? Oh, look at this. Wonderful. Fire lady. Look at her. She's so majestical with her, with her fire abilities. So majestical indeed. Mary, 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 be calm. This is going to be crazy. She's so crazy, Mary. Look at that. Oh, she's doing a hula hoop thing this time. Wow! That's cool. I like you can that. See how this could go horribly wrong. Wow! I mean, look at her. away from the curtain. Yes, we we do not want the theater to be burnt down. Check those hips, girl. Come on, fire lady. This lady is gonna catch herself on fire. She's gonna catch herself on fire. Look at that. So majestical, guys. So majestical. Can I make another move on Mary? No, I can't. You imagine doing that every day? I can't think of anything worse. Oh yeah, that is true. She has to do this every day. Every day, and I'm sure, I'm sure she's burnt herself a bunch of times. Excellent! Woo! Excellent! Look at that! That was amazing! What'd you think about that, Mary? Is that not the best entertainment I've ever brought you to in my life? What next? Can I make another move? Oh, I want to make another move. I make another, another move. Enchanting! Mesmerizing! She is truly Woo! one to bring home to mother. Oh, oh yeah. Well, Mary, Mary, can I bring you home to place mother? In France, where the naked ladies dance. <gasps> naked. I have been there. Prepare for the body braziers of the petit flaneur in Gay Paris. Uh, where? Yeah. Mary, Mary, I want to make a move. I want to make a move. Damn it! It won't let me make a move anymore. Oh. Now, this is more like it. What? 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 I, I can flirt if I want to flirt, Mary. I, I can do the flirting. <laughs> oh, he's, he's wearing purple just like me. Look at that. They dancing like hell. Mary. Mary, do you want to go, Mary? 
Hey, Mary, I try, I try to make my moves on you. Oh, did you like it? Is it funny? God! Wow! Wow, look at him go! They are dancing their asses off. This is awesome. Can't cheer. Big finale's coming up. I think we should go. We, we, I want to go to. I want to go to bed now. I want to go to bed. I want to. How long can we sit here? How long is this damn theater? This is like my whole movie, right? Whoa, and my whole video. Incredible. Hey, Aren't Mary. They hey, we gotta go. Oh, those legs are a sight to behold. I am spent. <laughs> Each of my shows is truly incredulous. Oh, incredulous. And I'm sure you enjoyed. Thank you. Well, that was the show, I we think. We flounder through the morass of humanity with only bright moments like these before it all goes this dim and snuffs out in silence. So thank you. What a lovely evening. Come back tomorrow. Hey, yeah, so it played two to three uh, shows and then it's over. That was awesome. Too bad we couldn't make any more moves. Damn, Arthur got, got nervous. All right. Well, shall we? Yes. That was fun, Arthur. It was fun. It was. <laughs> <laughs> uh. All right. You better take me to the trolley now, Mr. Morgan. Of course. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Quite ridiculous, but somehow very amusing. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Man, it's morning now. We've been in there all My night. My wife wasn't supposed to. Oh. Is it too late for us, Arthur? Oh, hell no. I can't lie to you. I'm a wanted man, Mary. If I. If anyone close to me, well, they're wanted to. And I can't have you wrapped up in there. Oh, uh, that sucks. This time it really is. Run away with me, Arthur. Run away right now and don't look back. I want to. More than anything I want to. But I've got some people I need to take care of. But once they're free, then I'm free. Then I can disappear. But Arthur... If we're gonna run away anywhere, we'd need money. Soon, I'll have some. I know you won't run away. Mary, you gotta wait for me, girl. But it's a pretty dream. It is? Very pretty. But ah, I pretty will dream. once I get some money. I had some, but then some fool got it trapped into a town that I can't go back to. That's another story. I'll write you. Please do. Please. Please. Man, poor Arthur. He has bad luck with, with the women. It's true though. We're wanted. We'll get her in danger, and we we'll end up getting her killed if she if she if she was with us. Fatherhood and other dreams. No. No. Mary, I'm sorry. Come back. Let's get it. Let me. Okay. 
Now, since we did all of that, we have a stranger right here and Trelawney. And I believe that is the only two things that we can do. Yes. Oh, no, oh, we got something over here now. Sadie. So Sadie wants something as well. But let's go visit the stranger and see who the hell that is. Hello? Hello? Excuse me. Yes. Yes, who are you? Hey, do I know you? Mr. I believe we've met. We have. At that ghastly party. Oh, oh yeah. Evelyn Miller. Unfortunately so, Mr. Uh, Arthur Morgan, at least sometimes. Uh, can I say something rude? Sure. The mayor thinks you robbed him. Really? Uh, to be clear, <laughs> he wasn't very upset about it. He rather liked you. Okay. Do you, uh... Well, I mean to say, uh, can you steal things? Is there a reason you're asking me to incriminate myself, Mr. Miller? Well, I'm sorry. Have you met? Uh, this is Rainsfall, a great chief, and his Rainsfall. son, Eagle Flies. Eagle Flies! Yeah, we saw you in the wagon train crossing the river at Cumberland Falls. And at the party, you were upstairs. Yeah, they great see everything. Of observation. As my people, if we are even a people anymore, we've fought hard. We've made peace treaties, and those treaties were broken. And we've been moved and punished and punished and moved. I'm sure. And now I am told we are to be moved again. Clearly, oh, contravening no. the peace treaty signed three years ago. This will lead to war. No, my son, it will not. We cannot fight another war. They have got stronger, and we have become far weaker, Mr. Morgan. Well, it's a bad business. Terrible it's to business. do with oil. I know it is, but I need the proof. I believe there were some prospectors who were on their land a few months ago who have filed reports with Leviticus Cornwall and the state government claiming huge reserves of oil under their land. So... You want me to try and steal it? Obviously, they can't. <laughs> and even more obviously, I would be useless. <clears throat> Listen, I realize that it is a ridiculous request, yeah. but we're very desperate. Yeah. I'm not a do-gooder, Mr. Miller. Gentlemen, I'm very sorry for your predicament, but I'm a working man. I got problems of my own. We will pay you very handsomely, Mr. Morgan. I like money. <laughs> How much? I told you, they're all mercenaries. <laughs> There's a price on my head in two states, my friend. The government doesn't like me any more than it does you. Like you, I've been running for as long as I can remember. And like you, my time here is nigh undone. We understand, and we will pay. Thank you. Thank you kindly. meet my son in a couple of days near Citadel Rock, just west of the oil fields. Okay. We are very grateful for your help. Gentlemen, a couple of days. An appointment with the senator. We should head over there. It's a waste of our time. And his. No. We must try everything. Come along. Yeah, eagle flies. I'm Hello. the hell down. Mr. Oh, Miller, your wings. the counselor wants to apologize. He can see you now. We've been waiting I don't know how long. Or next month, if you'd like to reschedule. Come. Perhaps the senator won't mind waiting. Yeah. All right, so we're going to have to uh, meet Eagle Flies near Cornwall, Kerosene, and Tar. Where's that at? Cornwall. Oh, my God. We got to go all, with, all the way over there. Where is it? I don't even... It is a show. He, it did say in a couple of days. So he's in there right now. So in a couple of days, they'll probably show me on the map where he's at right now. So for right now, we'll just... Uh, We'll go back to camp, we'll talk to Sadie, and see what the hell she is Ladies wanting shippers. with us. Last time we took Sadie out, I, b I believe, if, if I'm thinking about the right, the right person, last time we took her out, she shot up a bunch of people and got new clothes. I'm so proud to be a part of this great big family. You're never gonna take this away from me. I'm in the delirious army, delirious army. I'm so proud to be a part of this great big family. You're never gonna 